So I want to share an incredible story that uh, just happened a moment ago while I was in here with the girls. Okay, so behind me is Nora's tank, right? That's where Nora, Dewdrop, and Willow is. And then, of course, over here, it's uh, Mumbo's tank with his boys. And then to the other side, it's uh, Boober and Sprite. They're, they live in my bedroom. Anyway, so I, uh, I'm sitting here on purpose so I can get a good shot of Nora's tank. So I, I come over to Nora, to her tank, and I start talking to them. And, and they're in their little dens. And I'm like, Nora comes out, I give her some love. Willow comes out, I say hi to her. And then I says to Nora, I go, how come I don't see Dewdrop? How come Dewdrop doesn't come out? And so I blew on the tunnels because that's that's something you do with rodents hamsters and gerbils you can blow on them and that that sensory awareness lets them know that you're there and um you know then they usually come out and investigate so i blew on into the tunnel and i can see dewdrop's tail but she's not coming out and nora she's still out and i look at nora and i go how come i can't get dewdrop to come out why won't dewdrop come out you know she's standing up so then Nora starts making this chickering noise, like kind of chickering noise. If you know gerbils, if you understand gerbils, um, they hear and speak at a decibel that we can't normally hear and speak at. And so you will see a gerbil moving its mouth. It'll be like underneath, but you won't hear anything. You might, if you had your, if you had them up to your ear, you could probably hear them, but they, they don't make loud noises. They rarely yell. You know, they'll make, they'll make audible squeaks uh, if they want you to, or sometimes if they sneeze, it's audible. But so she stands up and she starts making chicka chicka noises. And I shit you not, Dewdrop comes out of the hole. She just comes out. And I'm like, there you are. And I pet her. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she goes back down. And I was like, thank you, Nora. And I picked her up and I gave her some love and I put her down. And, you know, I went about my business after that. But then it hit me. Nora called her daughter out to see me because I was like, where is she? Where is Dewdrop? And she literally yelled for her kid like, hey, kid, come on out. Come here. And so she came out. And it's just like. When I say my gerbils are intelligent, I'm not biased. I'm bragging because that was clearly her calling her daughter out of the den so I could see her because I was saying, hey, I want to see her. And she like totally comprehended everything. Like Nora is so incredibly intelligent and she's the mom of all the babies. And I'm just... I don't know. I'm enamored with her. I'm absolutely in love with her because she's just so incredible. Like all of our gerbils are wicked cool and a lot of, they're all very smart. Like I made sure she had a lot of good protein in her diet when she was making babies. We know protein makes healthy brains. So her babies are super smart. He's a mumbo. Hey mumbo. Mumbo's pretty smart too. He's the only gerbil that doesn't get spooked. Like, if you stand up real fast, they'll all run away. Mumbo will just stand there. And he usually, he's like doing that John Travolta thing like, what? 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 You know, because he's like, it's just the human. <laughs> so, I think that's why the kids are so smart. Oh, you love your dad. Do you love your dad? Oh, yes, you do. Oh, excitement. That's Bert. It's Bert and Mumbo. Yeah. Oh, uh, before uh, before I stop this video, one more funny thing. Um, they all put their, like this is all of their found, because uh, I scatter their food. This is all their food. Her, right there. That's Nora's, that's all their food. And then over here, here's all the twins' food. They're bragging. They could put the food anywhere they want in their tanks. And they've all put it where they can see it. Like the girls, they can all see their stores from where they're sitting in their tanks. They can look across the tank and see it. They're fucking bragging. They see, they're showing off. You're showing off. 
they're showing off to each other. Look how much ki- how much um, seeds I've got. Look at look at my stores for the winter. Neener neener. <laughs> they're the most crazy and creative little animals, I swear. And they're soft, wicked fucking soft. Like. When mom came to visit, I handed her a gerbil to hold, and the first things out of her mouth, oh, it's soft, so soft. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Their fur is silky soft. Smooth. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I just wanted to share how amazing my gerbils are and how smart they are. So, yeah, I'm not biased. I'm bragging. See you next time.